Hey everyone, we are letting the learning continue and in this video we are looking at the guided exercise. It's all about accessing containers. Now to get things underway, run the command lab start basics accessing and it really is important that you have each and every single one of these successes. Now let's go and move on to step number one. What are we going to do over here is to start a brand new container. It's called Nginx. Let's have a look at the command that we have over here. It is podman run dash dash name Nginx. We're going to be running it in detached mode. We are also going to be doing port forwarding. We're going to take port 8080 on the container host, and we're going to forward that to uh, the container at port 8080. The image that we're going to use is podman-nginx-hello world. Watch out for those typos, please. And it comes from the Red Hat training namespace. And of course, that is inside of the registry that we have inside of the training environment. Now, what we're going to do uh, immediately is that we're going to go to the browser. We're going to connect to localhost port 8080. We have this 404 not found and you're thinking, oh no, what did I do wrong? Nothing is wrong. Part of the, uh, the activity is to troubleshoot uh, what went wrong and then we are going to fix that up. So let's go back to the terminal over here. And we're going to move on to step number three. So use the command podman cp. We're going to copy um, from the nginx container and look at that notation over there. So we use a colon to separate the container from the from the file inside of the container. So podman cp nginx colon var log nginx error.log. That is the log file for the for the nginx container. And we are going to copy it to the workstation machine for debugging. Now you can use whichever editor you prefer. Uh, as per the instructions inside of the guided exercise, I'm using gedit. So run gedit space error.log. And over here, you can see that I have gedit opened up. So what you can see is that the, the container is looking for index.html below USO share nginx html public. And it says, sorry, could not find that. And therefore we got the, we, we gave you the 404 message. And we need to now go and uh, do the needful to make sure that the application works. So let's go and move on to step three, three. What we're going to do is use podman exec nginx and we're going to run a command. The command is ls and we're going to transact USR share nginx HTML public. And you can see no such file or directory. And you're thinking, I swear that I had that there configured. Uh, and no, it's not. You see, what happened is that uh, the public directory is what is being referenced. However, the files that we need to display are in fact below USR share nginx HTML. So you can see that if you use the command podman exec nginx and then you use the ls command. So remember, um, the part after the nginx, that is a command that we are running inside of the container. So do a direct relisting of USR share nginx HTML. And you can see, ah, there we go. There's index.html. Gotcha. I see where you are. So what we are going to do right now at step four, one is that we're going to copy the nginx.con file, which is inside of the container. We're going to copy that uh, to the current directory. So the command is podman cp nginx, don't forget that colon is used to separate the name of the container from the file that we're going to be transacting against. Uh, the file is etsy nginx nginx.conf and we're going to copy that to the current directory nginx.conf. And now we're going to use the gedit uh, editor to edit the nginx configuration. So what do we ultimately need to do over here is that we need to um, tell it that we are not going to be using USR share nginx HTML public as the server root. Instead, we're going to use, and allow me to highlight the line over here. So this is on line number 41. We are going to be using USR share nginx HTML. So what we need to do is uh, make the appropriate change, make sure that your line 41 looks like mine, or more specifically, below the server block inside of the nginx configuration. You can see that we are listening on port 8080 and where we are serving content from. In other words, the, uh, the, the document root is USR share nginx HTML. So that file is on the workstation machine and we now need to get, get it inside of the container. So let's get back to the terminal over here. And as part of step number four, three, uh, we're going to use podman cp. We're going to copy nginx.com from the workstation machine to inside of the running container uh, at etsy nginx nginx.conf. And what we naturally need to do is that we need to reload the nginx configuration. We can't restart the container um, because when we do restart the container, what's going to happen is that it's going to uh, start it from its, uh, its golden image, which is not what we want. All that we need to do over here is just go and reload the nginx services within the container. So as part of step number five, one, we just go ahead and run podman exec nginx. And uh, it may seem like uh, you're uh, a bit of duplication over here, 
the command that we are using inside of the container is in fact, nginx dash s reload. So now we can do our testing. So previously we got a 404 when we access local host and port 8080. Now we get a very friendly hello world from nginx. Now to wrap things up, all that we need to do is run the command lab finish basics accessing. With that, it does bring this video to an end. I will see you in the next section.